Hi, it's Jeff Challen. For MP6, we configured your project with a couple of run configurations. If you remember from previous MPs, normally when you open up a 10 IntelliJ, there would be an option under the run configuration menu to grade the project, and in some cases, another option to run the test suites. And those were pretty convenient. Um, unfortunately, what we've noticed is that um, Android Studio seems to delete those when you open the project for the first time. So I've just opened a project here, and you can see in my run configuration menu, I don't see those familiar grade and uh, test tasks. And if I look at what happened in Git, I can see that those files were deleted for some reason. Um, we've actually filed a bug against Android Studio because I don't think this is what's supposed to happen. Uh, we'll see where that goes. But in the meantime, there's a couple of different ways to fix this. So one way is to uh, use Git to recover those files. And that's possible. Remember, when you commit something to a Git repository, that file is saved forever. And so you can always get it back. Um, and that's one way to approach the problem. And if you want to do that, I suspect there's a way to do it using the VCS features that are built into Android Studio. But it's also possible that you've accidentally committed those uh, deletions already, and you'd rather not fiddle around with Git. And so what I'm going to do is just show you how to recreate um, the um, the run configurations manually. So I've posted a couple screenshots here of uh, what the configurations are supposed to look like for both the grade and the test tasks. And I'm just going to walk you through doing that in Android Studio. So I'm going to go to my run configurations menu. I'm going to hit edit configurations. I'm going to choose to add a new configuration. The first one that we're doing is the grade configuration, and that's a Gradle configuration. So I open up the Gradle menu. I'm going to call this one Grade. Now the Gradle project, I want to choose the root of my, uh, I want to choose my root Gradle project. So in this case, yours will be MP6 dash your uh, GitHub username. The task I'm going to run, again, I'm going to use this as a reference, is colon lib colon grade. The final thing you need to get right is the arguments to this. So I'm going to give it, uh, I'm going to reproduce these from these. This just tells it which Gradle configuration file to use. And then I'm done. So now you can see that mine looks very similar to this. The only difference is going to be uh, instead of MP6 starter, it'll be MP6 your GitHub username. So I'm going to hit OK now. And now you can see that I have this option. And I'm going to run it just to make sure um, that it's working. OK. Um, and it does seem to have worked. Uh, it's asking me to add my email address to email.txt. Um, and that's you know the usual starting process when you're beginning the MP. OK, so that's the grade configuration. Let's add the test configuration. This one is a little bit trickier, so uh, please follow along carefully. I'm going to go back to my Run Configurations menu, and I'm going to hit Edit Configurations. And now I'm going to add a new configuration, and this is a test ng uh, configuration. So now I'm going to call this test. And now I'm going to just very carefully reproduce uh, the configuration here. So the test kind is going to be all in package. The package is um, edu.illinois.cs.cs125.mp6.lib. Um, and maybe this is a choice here. Nah, this is easier to do it this way. Okay. So edu.illinois.cs.cs125.mp6.lib. Um, I'm going to say in a single module, the output directory I don't need to change. These are, I think, pretty much correct, the JDK settings. Um, the only thing that's important here is to adjust these settings down here. So rather than running a build beforehand, I think you actually can do this, but it's quite slow because that's going to build the entire project, including your Android app, which is probably not what you want. So we're going to remove this. And we're going to, but we do need to build our library before we run the test suites. Um, and so I'm going to add a build project. Oop, let's see here. I'm going to remove this. Um, I'm going to go back. Oh, I need to add a Gradle task, right? So I'm going to run, add the option to run Gradle task. The project I'm going to choose is my uh, mp6 underscore your username colon lib. The tasks are going to be. Um, build. And none of this I think we need to do anything with. So we're going to hit OK um, and look and see if that looks correct. So run Gradle task lib build, that looks correct. Um, let's hit OK and give this 
give this a try. Okay, so now I have a test option, and when I run it, um, it looks like it's uh, building my test suite. It's complained about something, and now it's going to actually run the test suite. Um, you'll notice, so if you see this error, and there's a, a separate uh, screencast about this, uh, this is confusing, but what's happening is if we open up the library and go to the recognized photo test um, uh, suite, you'll see that it's not going to compile yet because there are a couple of um, things that you need to finish in recognize photo. So to address this error, it's quite simple. I'm just going to create a, um, you know, I need to create the is a dog method that's going to take some JSON as a string, um, a confidence level, and I'll just stub these out for now um, just to show you what happens once I get these methods completed. So I'll do this one, is a cat, has really the same signature, and then there's also a public string, string get caption, which takes JSON string as input and returns a string. I'm just going to have it return null. Um, oh, and these all need to be static too. Public static boolean, public static boolean, public static string. Now, once I'm done with this, I'm going to go over here and see what happens. It looks like I fixed one of them, and maybe I just renamed, okay, is a cat. What's wrong with this? A uh, string and a double. Um, ah, is a cat. Okay, perfect. So now you'll see that there's no more errors in the test suite. Um, the test suite's still going to fail because you haven't finished these methods, but at least it will actually compile. So let's try this. I'm going to compile my uh, code. You'll see some check style errors there, which is normal. Um, and now you'll see what you probably were, were more used to seeing in the past, where um, there's errors here caused by the fact that your, um, your code isn't working correctly, not by the fact that the test suite is not compiling. So this is you know, a way to, to reproduce those, um, those run configurations. Once you do this, even if you close the project, they'll be there when you come back and you can um, operate and iterate in a way that you're more familiar with.